Cavs always come to play, especially at home. Lock in, MP. Continues with a heavy dose of citrus. The Bulls come into game three up two games to none. Will their relentless desire thrust them to a third straight victory? The scenery changes to hostile ground as they face off against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. Welcome everyone to game three of this Eastern Conference round one matchup. Two nothing so far. Perhaps the tide can turn in this one. We'll take a look at the Cavaliers. Even though they start this series in a hole. Greg, it wasn't entirely unexpected, but now at home, they have to put a W on the board. And, and you know, Kevin, I, I look for them to be more comfortable here tonight. You, you often shoot better at home. Sometimes role players produce more at home. It's an environment and a crowd filled with energy that you're used to. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. The guard set is White alongside Levine. And be out there with Patrick Williams. And it's Boone Sellers in at the small forward position. Williams inside the line. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Nobody near Allen. No good on the three. And so Levine will bring it up now for Chicago. It's a three-point game. It was a big win for them coming off Tuesday's match. Well, you, you saw how dialed up they were from distance. The defense just couldn't get out to everyone. And that explains their three-point percentage. They had more than a few players giving the defense absolute fits from range. Garland, the pass to Struess. Allen for three. Rebound by Williams. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Well, Kevin, Kenny Atkinson did give me a few minutes to catch up with him. I asked him what plan he had, if any, for Zach Levine. He said, my focus is making sure he doesn't get any easy shots. We have to contest every attempt. It's about mitigating the damage, not preventing it. So it looks like he'll settle for just making Levine work as hard as possible. Guys? Thanks, David. For the three. Mobley with the rebound. For Cleveland, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Outside Garland. Allen, a screen on Levine. And another miss by Cleveland. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. Pass to MP. This shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Out, MP with out. video game number. How about the 60, 20, and 10 tripled up? An all-time game in league history. MP just doing everything. This guy is a human cheat code. And Kenny Atkinson calls timeout. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. 
if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. High post, Allen. Back to Garland. Allen with the screen for Garland. Back to Allen. Shot clock at five. And it's Allen with the jam. Well, why settle for the layup when you can finish with authority? Mr. Allen on the dunk. Looking around. MP against it. And they double up MP. Levine wide open. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Feet planted, angle set. All Levine needed was the basketball. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Trailing by two. Allen kicks to Mitchell. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Inside, here's Buzelis, and that comes off the assist by Levine. And you'd like to see Buzelis use that size inside rather than just settle for the jump shot. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Mobley, connects from three-point range. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Pass to Buzelis. To the inside. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. That's exactly what you want to see from MP at this stage of his career. Get to the rim and leave no doubt. The Cavaliers trail by three. Here's Allen. And then Allen slams it in. Oh, what a contest this is turning into. Almost like a dunk contest, Kevin. You're right, Greg. They are really going at it. And it's bound to only get more intense from here on out. Williams with three. Allen with the rebound. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point lane. And here's Cruz for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. In the corner, it's Bruce Ellis. That's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. Pass to MP. And goes in for him too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Allen's shot is off. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. On the wing, MV. Defended by Allen. MV kicks to Williams. This goes to MP. Oh, MP getting the basketball exactly where it needs to go when it needs to be there. Mobley outside. Back to Garland. From the line, and he hits the jump shot. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. The Bulls leading by four. MP left side. Allen grabs the miss. And, and already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backfield. Well, he may be a top scorer, guys, but Donovan Mitchell is not selfish. What a pretty pass. Chicago is gone. Two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Pass to MP. Poked away. It's stolen by Struess. Mitchell with it, now defended by Levine. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. MP with it. Outside, White. Now here's Levine. And there's the call on Evan Mobley. That's his first foul. Karis LeVert's checked in for Cleveland. Here's MP, moves back up, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. One of the things you love about MP is his appreciation for the history of the game, studying the former great players, weaving their strengths into his game. 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Mitchell outside. Back to Levert. Mobley outside. No good with the triple. The Bulls leading by four. Williams finds MP. Outside, Levine. No good on the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And I'll tell you, this is something you never like to see. No, obviously something that, you know, every player fears. The NBA has made player safety a priority, but injuries continue to happen. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Alinari, he's checked in for Jared Allen. George Niang comes in for Mobley. Akoro's checked in for Max Drews. And it's Garland in for Donovan Mitchell. Chicago also making some changes. Vucevic checked in for Patrick Williams. Josh Giddy comes in for Buzelis. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Zach Levine. Garland the pass to Levert. Ball against Garland. Back to Levert. Six to shoot. From outside the arc, that one's in his first shot this game. Uh, Karis LeBert has worked diligently to make his three-point shot legitimate. Knocks that one down. Giddy the pass to MP. That's good. And so Giddy with the assist. And that's 12 points for MP. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. There's Garland. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alt. David. Thanks very much. MP in the last game against the Cavaliers played phenomenal basketball. He ended up with 62 points, and that was only part of it, as he added a triple-double for his work. He really worked hard in that game and put up some big numbers as a result. Guys, back to you. Thanks for the report, D.A. Greg, phenomenal effort by him in that last game. He willed the team to victory through his talent and through that competitiveness. Let's give credit to his teammates for continuing to find this guy. They knew he had the hot hand, and they were willing to ride it all night long. And so, Levert will bring it up for the Cavaliers. It's a five-point game. Here's a Coro. Off target from outside. And that one gives them a plus-five rebound advantage. And the ball goes out of bounds. Pass touched by MP. That almost looked like bad communication. Atkinson calls timeout here. He's ready to talk things through with the team. Bounce uh, pass Levert. Pass to Okoro. Back to Levert. And the rejection by MP. A moment for an injury report. Let's get an update on Evan Mobley. David, what's his status? Hey, Kevin, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for the Cavaliers. The belief right now is that it's a high ankle sprain. Now, they're still running tests, but the swelling is making that a little more complicated. His day is over, and it looks like he's going to be out for a number of games. It's tough news for this team to process. Kevin? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know right how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. There's no question because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. The guard and off guard are Mitchell and Levert. Max Drews is out there with Isaac Okoro. And it's Allen in at the center position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. What an incredible game so far for MP. He's showing no signs of slowing down. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Mitchell passes to Allen. 
Allen, a screen on Williams. A three from Struess. Bangs home the trifecta. Struess has got six points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Pass to Struess. And the three off target. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Buzelis's shot is good. And how about that finish by Buzelis, the rookie, getting it done? Now, Struess. Lavert with it. He's got 11. Struess finds Allen. Knocks down the three ball. Allen's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. MP converting the tough bucket. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Pass to Struess. And Buzelis gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bulls? And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Alinari, he's checked in for Okoro. And it's Garland in for Lavert. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Allen outside. For three, Mitchell. And it's MP with the rebound. MP's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Levine dishes to MP. MP gets the job done inside. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Garland kicks to Struess. To Garland. There's the triple. And that's good. Max Struess for three. Struess has got his third basket of the night. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And the shot is good. And that's now 30 points for MP. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Garland, the pass to Struess. Takes a three. And it's MP with the rebound. MP's got 11 rebounds in the game. To the paint. Garland against White. Buzelis, no one around him. Trains it from beyond the arc. Buzelis has got five points now this quarter. The Cavaliers trail by 15. Mitchell outside. It's Struess on the wing. He's got nine. And it's Gallinari missing. Boy, they can't cut into this lead with him going stone cold and only so much time to turn it around. Here's MP. Banked in off the glass. MP's got 32 points in the game. Boy, I like when MP tries to carve space in the painted area. So effective down there. 20 seconds left in the first half of the game. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Well, it's trying to close the quarter strong. And by that, take a great shot without giving them an opportunity for another one down the other end. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Trains the three-pointer. Mitchell's got seven points. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. And so it's MV making things happen for the goal. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. Back to the action in just a minute.
I think their bench was the biggest difference. These guys came aggressive on the offensive end, not afraid to put the stamp on this game. Yeah, some confident personalities up and down that roster. Looking at the series breakdown for the Cavaliers. I'll get straight to it, Kenny. Is this a must-win game for them? They might not want to admit it, Ernie, but this is a must-win game. I look at this team and I think, if they drop this one, it's going to get into their heads and they're not coming back. Stop it, Kenny. It's not over yet. They know how to respond when their backs are against the walls. Well, I guess we'll just have to see how it plays out, huh? Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from game three. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. Taking a look at the Bulls, the guard set is White alongside Levine. Buzelis out there with Patrick Williams. And it's MP in its center. The Cavaliers trail by 17. Outside Garland, screws in the corner. Gallinari outside. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to MP. He's looking for Williams and finds him. MP kicks to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Levine for three. Offensive rebound. MP inside, working on Allen. MP inside, Allen defending MP. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Outside Garland, back to Gallinari. Pass to Struess, Allen with the screen for Struess. Outside Garland. For Williams. Garland, no good. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Out to White. Fires the three. And the foul called on MP. That is his first foul of the game. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Outside Garland. And here's Mitchell from the arc. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Mitchell's got 10 points. Well, we know Mitchell can hurt you from outside the arc. The defense better recognize this moving forward. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Bulls getting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And here is Garland. Eight points for him. Pass to Struess. Back to Garland. Gallinari outside. Just five on the clock. Mitchell in the corner. There's the three. Buzelis grabs the board. Chicago leading by 17. It's White on the wing. In the corner, it's Levine. Carries it from three-point range. He's got nine. Levine with that high-arching shot from the corner. And Kenny Atkinson calls timeout here. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team.
And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Back to Garland. Now on a screen on White. Here's Garland. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Garland's got 10 points in the game. You can see the increasing confidence of putting the ball in Darius Garland's hand and letting him play out of pick and roll. MP kicks to Levine. MP passes to Williams. And they double up MP. From deep three-point territory. Levine can't hit. The Cavaliers trail by 18. Here's Mitchell. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Levine. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Out to White. Good in the assist goes to MP. MP's got assist number five here tonight. An assertive offensive player. White knows he has the green light to rise and fire. Pass to Struess. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Colinari with the steal. Garland against Williams. Here's Allen. And he uses the glass on the layup. 13 points for Allen. One of Jared Allen's best qualities is his motor. That activity paying dividends with his scoring. Williams passes to MP. Takes it off the glass. MP's got five points in the quarter. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Here's Garland. Ten points for him. Pass to Struess. Off target from three-point range. Chicago leading by 18. MP inside. Defended by Struess. MP lays it up off the glass. MP's got 39. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Wound up there for Allen. Taken away by Williams. And here we go. Fast break. MP's got it. The kick out to Williams. Back to MP. And they double up MP. And the Bulls tack on two more. Well, they're just riding the hot hand down the stretch, and he's been in a zone all night. It's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. Alinari outside. to Garland. Allen, a screen on White. Garland, the pass to out. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be on MP. And the Cavaliers with some changes. George Niang comes in for Gallinari. And it's Lavert in for Mitchell. Then for the Bulls. Josh Giddy's checked in for Buzelis. And it's Lonzo Ball in for White. Ball finds MP. Let's it go from deep. And Giddy gets it to go. Giddy's got 10. Well, instant offense. Be shot ready on the catch, Josh Giddy. Yes, sir. Pass to Struess. Back to Garland. Puts up a three. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Chicago leading by 23. MP left side. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. MP's got 43 points. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Garland surveying the D. Pass to Struess. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Shot clock at six. Here's Garland. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Chicago's gone 4 of 6 from three point land since the start of the second half. And they double up MP. And he banks in the layup. MP's got 13 points now in the quarter. 
I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Aston to Niang. Back to Garland. Allen, a screen on ball. Here's Garland. Here's Allen. And the rejection by MP. Now ball. At the elbow, it's MP. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And MP still gets the shot in the air. Other young guys might have folded under that foul, but he's able to get to the line. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Alinari, he's checked in for Allen. Okoro comes in for George Nian. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Max Drews. And it's Sam Merrill in for Garland. The Bulls also changing it up. Vucevic comes in for Patrick Williams. And it's Dosumu in for Zach Levine. A nice shot by Levert. Well, you cannot allow Karis Levert to square up from deep. When he's in rhythm, he's going to knock down that shot with great consistency. Down low. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They are just killing him on the interior. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bulls? They've had a lot of success just getting the ball inside. And until the defense adjusts, I don't see any reason to go away from that strategy. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. To the middle. And good! He hits it again. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Cleveland's gone three and seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Mitchell outside. Fires for three. Chicago grabs the miss. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Pass to MP. And MP throws it down. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Cavaliers shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Three-pointer, Levert. It's hauled in by MP. Chicago has gone 4-6 from three-point land since the start of the second half. Ball, the pass to MP. And that one drops. MP's got 55. It's impressive, the level of domination at both ends, and you're seeing the results. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a 34-point advantage heading into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. The is making a change here. Struce is checked in. MP's checked in for the Bulls. Bulls have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. At the guard spots, we'll see Garland and Lavert. Okoro out there at Gallinari, and it's Struce in at the 3. That's the 5 for Cleveland right now. It's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. Second minute off the clock now in the 4th. Pulls in another board. Beasting on the boards. He is... He is having his way inside. And he's nearing the franchise record for rebounds in a playoff game. 
Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Garland kicks to Gallinari. Pass to Levert. Now, here's Struess. A nice shot by Okoro. Okoro's got his first three points of the game. And how about the payback there, guys? You do you, I do me. Oh, <laughs> you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. And they pick up two. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now, here's Levert, defended by Dosumu. Here's Okoro. Good defense by MP. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. And I like Giddy getting physical, challenging the defense. Free throw good from Giddy. Wade, he's checked in for Gallinari. And both free throws good for Giddy. Guys, we have seen a number of high caliber players from Australia. Josh Giddy adding to the reputation of the country. This guy is long, he's versatile, and he's skilled. Here's Garland. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Mitchell, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Chicago. Cleveland's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. The drive by Mitchell. That block is about MP knowing the scouting report. This guy knew exactly where he was trying to get to. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That'll be his second foul of the game. And here are the Cavaliers now. Now here's Lavert. Mitchell wide open. Here's another rebound. And he seems like he's grabbing every rebound out there. That last one ties him for most in a playoff game in this organization's history. Another bucket. Wow. Make that 61 points. Yep, everything is going his way right now. For Cleveland, they've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Wade with it. Pass to Levert. Wade sets the pick for Levert. And again with the rebound. This night will have a place in the franchise history book. Since the team's existence, no one's had this many rebounds in a postseason game. He has been sensational. A show of force on the glass. Talk about energizing your fan base. MP has chased down every missed shot like a wild man. Insane. It just feels like there are nights where Karis Levert is unguardable. I don't need to tell you this is one of those nights. And they double up MP. Pass to Dosunmu. Ball with a wide open look. And rebound. And good! There's another! And he's equaled second all-time in scoring for a playoff game. A tremendous offensive display, Greg. This crowd on the edge of their seats. Here's Levert. And the rejection by MP. To the paint. The kick out to Ball. From past the arc. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got his seventh assist in the game. Cleveland's got a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. And here's Mitchell from the arc. MP grabs the miss. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Osumu finds Vucevic. And here is Craig. A three-pointer off the mark. Now, here's Levert, defended by Dosumu. 
Wade passes to Struess. Wade, a screen on ball. For three, Mitchell gets it to go from beyond the arc. Reliable. That's Mitchell from three. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Down low. He's looking for MP. And, and yep, another basket. His offensive excellence continues to be on full display. Greg, he is now moved into second all-time for scoring in a playoff game. Mitchell outside. Stolen by Ball. MP outside. Hits it again. Wow. A new all-time mark for points in a postseason game. Passing his own previous record. I think that just about says it all. What a score. You talk about the elite offensive thrust to ever play in the game. He's arguably the very best. He brings such joy to his fans and such great work to his team. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Allen's checked in for Wade. Alinari comes in for Okoro. And it's Garland in for Karis LeVert. Smith checked in for Chicago. Josh Giddy comes in for Dosumu. Pass to Gallinari. Cleveland moving it around. Mitchell passes to Garland. There's three pointers off the mark. Into the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting the lights out in this building, 68% from the field. Here's Giddy. Back to MP. The jump hook. That's good. And so Giddy with the assist. Giddy's got six assists here tonight. Cavaliers shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Spruce kicks to Garland. Allen a screen on ball. Ball against Garland. Five to shoot. Pass to Gallinari. Here's the three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Smith the pass to Giddy. Stolen by Mitchell. Up top, Garland. He's covered by Ball. And it's Allen slamming it down. Well, that's a highlight play for Mr. Jared Allen. Nice pass from his teammate. Pass to MP. Back to Giddy. The wide open look here for Craig. Trills the three pointer. And game three will go in the record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the Bulls. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And this series has really gone their way. Yeah, it looks like a sweep may be in the cards with tonight's win. They'll be going up 3-0, and this is exactly what they wanted to do. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats, just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for MP. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Well, they knew it would be a hostile environment, and they rose to the challenge. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. Allen for three. It's rebounded by Giddy. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Stolen by Allen. Struce against Giddy. Struce kicks to Mitchell. And he hits the jump shot. You love how confident Donovan Mitchell is. On the catch-and-shoot opportunities, there's no hesitation. Here's MP. Second shot opportunity. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Jared Allen. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. And here is Mitchell. 
And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. You have to think at this point, up three zip, it's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone. Hey, yo, bad play. First team all defense is MP and four other guys. I have lived on this earth long enough. That was the single greatest performance I've ever seen. Oh,